At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Interfaith Coalition kept on with the task and they were among those who bore results when on January 8, 2015, the people of this country of different ethnic groups, of different religions, even of different political persuasion got together to elect a new president, President Maitripala Sirisen, who unfortunately cannot be with us here at the moment, to ensure reconciliation and peace in Sri Lanka. Now that's the task which has been taken over by the government, and not only by government, by many members of parliament, even in the opposition, and by the religious leaders, and by many social groups. We have to continue with it. If our country wants habitat harmony, we must have harmony between the different ethnic groups and the different religions, and that we have to pursue. I am you know, on one hand heartened by the fact that people are getting together. They believe in national unity, in national reconciliation, and they say this is enough is enough. And uh, there is a general movement which has to be encouraged and accelerated. But in an atmosphere fair for decades, you have lived on espousing hatred or divisions between ethnic groups and uh, religious groups. There are still a handful who try to mobilize ethnic hatred or religious hatred to create disunity for their uh, purposes. We have to resist all this and the government will resist it. We will talk to them, try to convince them, failing which we will take whatever other measures are needed to ensure that racial and religious harmony is upheld in Sri, uh, in Sri Lanka.